Yeah, terrifying. And what you see right there, the man in the hat shielding a woman. Uh, shots rang out at Saturday's assassination attempt against former President Trump. That's Jake Trailer. Jake is an NBC reporter and also the son of UTSA head football coach Jeff Trailer. Right there for the action, too. Fox SA's Matt Roy secured an interview with Jake, who many are calling a hero after his actions on Saturday. We were there. I was there as a reporter for NBC, uh, anticipating. There's no normal Donald Trump rally. That's that's something we, we commonly know. Saturday's rally was about as far from normal as you could get, with eight gunshots ringing out from a gunman 150 yards away, causing everyone, even journalists like Jake Trailer, to fear for their lives. The number one feeling, of course, was, was sadness and fear, but also just a lot of confusion. That's uh, No one shows up to work or shows up to a rally, a political rally, anticipating anything uh, of that extremity or to that effect. Jake is a campaign embed for NBC News and also the youngest son of the UTSA football coach Jeff Trailer. Jake can be seen in this video, shielding colleague Rachel Scott as panic spreads out through the crowd. What was that moment like for you em emotionally and, and physically, psychologically? I mean, obviously a flood of emotions. I've described it as a lot happening very quickly, but also feeling like it was taking very slow amount of time. I mean, that was felt across the, uh, the entire rally. You could see everyone um, on top of each other, protecting each other. That was just a very natural human thing that we experienced take place at the rally that day. Jake quickly let his family know he was safe, but didn't mention his heroic action, something not abnormal according to his father. In a statement, Jeff said, the kids just wired differently. Obviously, I'm very proud of what he did, but it doesn't surprise me in the least. For Jake, he says he was shaken up, but once the shooting stopped, he focused back on the task at hand. Obviously, never uh, anticipate or, or want to have to cover something like that, but ultimately it is what sometimes uh, is the case for, for journalists and for political journalists. Matt Roy, Fox News at 9.